So I got the forks on and the swing arm installed. This is looking so clean with that engine cleaned up, everything powder coated. Yeah, like how it's turning out. And then for the forks here, we got a few spacers here. Um, this came with the all balls kit, just new bearings in there with the Cognito Moto conversion stem. Yeah, so looking really, really good. Next thing to do is to put on the rear shock and a whole bunch of the smaller pieces. Rear shock is in. I really like how that gunmetal spring looks. Looks super clean. I put some preload on there. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to put. I'm gonna be tuning all the suspension later on anyways. Uh, this is also a height adjusting rod off of a different Ducati. I just found it on eBay. Uh, seems to do the trick and then I can kind of like play with the, the rear height of this bike later on down the road. So yeah, rear shock is in. Let's keep moving forward. So the front end is pretty much all together. Lights are on, brakes are on, fenders on. I do wish that I had powder coated this to match everything. Uh, it's a little bit scratched up, so maybe I'll do that later on. Um, but yeah, front fit, front end is all good to go. I'm gonna work on installing these carbs. Um, one issue is 
this has like a different mounting bracket and that thing actually hits right here. So I need to do something about that. I'm just gonna cut that and then um, maybe weld on a little piece to um, go up and over. But yeah, I'm gonna be mounting these right here. Just needs to be able to drop a little bit lower, get those on and then yeah, keep installing all the parts. Got my whole list right there of everything that I need to do. New carbs are in, these look so nice and clean on there. I ended up just putting a flat piece of aluminum just on the top there, uh, and it clears just fine. I had to take a little bit off the bottom just to make it clear right in there. Um, but yeah, that's on there. Looks really, really good. And um, yeah, these carbs look pretty unreal, and apparently they perform really well as well. So yeah, that's a bonus. I'm just gonna keep assembling. bunch of LEDs here wired all with resistors on them uh, and some grounds and just gonna glue them into this top triple now. Alright here we go. Got all of these LEDs mounted in there with the gauge there. This took me a few attempts but I ended up just using hot glue. Um, wish I had a little bit more space to run these wires but they took away decently clean. Uh, I'm just going to throw this on the bike now and get a bunch of this wiring up at the front done.
So my brother and I worked a whole bunch on getting this thing wired up. We made a whole bunch of progress, got a bunch of stuff installed. Uh, let me show you really quick where we're at and what we've done so far. Basically the wiring breaks down into like a few main components. We have this centralized piece here. This is called an M unit. These are super handy, basically replaces all of your relays and all of your fuses. You just run one power here and then you can run all of your outputs here. So like ignition power, high beam signals, start, um, all that kind of stuff. And then this is the switches. So this basically connects up to all of my switches here on my handlebar. So when you push this, it sends a signal to here, which then sends power out to here. So very convenient, very helpful. This also connects to your phone via Bluetooth to work as a key. So when your phone is in proximity, this will be able to power up and you can turn the bike on. So super handy there. That's the M unit. That's kind of like the main part of all of this. Then we've got my coil packs, my regulator rectifier, my starter solenoid, and my battery under here. So I'll explain briefly how all that works. So the coil packs, they receive signal from the points. So there's a wire that runs all the way up here. Send signal to these for when to fire. They get ignition power. And then when they get the signal, then they send a uh, spark to here to ignite everything in the cylinder. So that's the coil packs there. Uh, the, regula the regulator itself gets power from the generator here. So that's these three wires that I send up to the regulator. Um, the regulator then kind of like cleans up the signal and then uses that to charge the battery and give power to the bike while it's running. And then my starter solenoid here basically gets power from the battery up through to there and then back down to the starter. You could use this M unit as your starter solenoid and you don't actually need this piece, but because this is a bigger four cylinder, I wanted to use a solenoid anyway so I could draw more amps and not overload the M unit. So yeah, that's like the gist of all of this. Then there's like a few other wires that I tied into. I've got neutral here. I've got the oil pressure here, which is that guy. Um, and that's mostly, yeah, what I've pulled from the engine. All of these wires here, this is basically like all of my signal wires and all my power wires to the headlights, the gauge, the LEDs, the signals, all that kind of stuff. I uh, also need to route a wire through here which, because I forgot for this sensor for when to turn on the brake lights. So yeah, that's where that's at. I'm just waiting on these diodes before I can loom everything and clean up all the wiring. Um, back here, we made a speed sensor mount. So I think this is the original Ducati speed sensor mount. We just 3D printed a little adapter for the one that comes with the M unit. So this basically just follows all the way up to here and then also through up to my gauge so that I have speed signal. I'm not sure if these will give me signal to my sensor or if I'll have to drill these out and put a magnet in the rotor. Um, but we're gonna try that and that should be nice and clean. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of the wiring. I also installed my brake caliper, got the line routed, got the master cylinder there. So yeah, just gonna keep chipping away. So we've come to the moment of truth. I wired in the brake light sensor there, so the brake lights will switch on when I pull the lever now. And then I wired in my last piece here, which was the signal wire to the LEDs. So each of these power wires to the signal will go to the one LED up here um, in order to make sure that I'm not getting power going through the LED and then back to the other signal. I used one of these diodes on each wire. This is basically like a one-way valve for the electricity. Uh, sends it up one way, but doesn't allow it to come back the other way. So that's in there. That's all wired up. Everything is good to go. Now I've got my battery positive hooked up and I've got this wire here for ground. And all I have to do is touch this to the engine or to the frame, let it ground and we should get power here. So let's see, boom, I mean it turns on. Uh, so good to see that that works. Uh, let me test now and see if we get power up to the gauge in the headlights. So if I touch the ignition to power, there we go. Gauge turns on, headlight turns on, that works. Oh, that's such a satisfying feeling to know that the wiring all works. So that's all there. So cool to see those LEDs working up there too. Uh, let's see if these switches work. Uh, I think this one, 
controls the gauge. Yep. So you can change the gauge, the odometer, the RPM, speed, time. Those, that's pretty cool. Uh, these ones are my signals, right and left. So that signal light works perfectly. That one works, you can cancel. And then I've got high beam, I think this one. Uh, yep, there we go. So high beam turns on, perfect, and you got the light for it. Nice, those work. Uh, last one over there is for start, and then I got one here for horn, which I don't have yet. But yeah, amazing to see my wiring works. Um, everything works there. Let me throw on the tank in the seat and show you guys what this bike looks like with it all on there because it's pretty sick. One sec. Okay, check this out. This looks unreal. What a sick bike this thing is turning out to be. It looks so clean like that. I love the way the carbs look on there. Um, really nice having everything powder coated and cleaned up. I can't believe I built this bike. What a cool, what a cool bike it's been. So this has been such a cool journey. I'm definitely learning lots. Thank you to everyone who's had patience on my uploads on this. I know it's been taking me a while. Just being crazy busy with business and life and everything going on and trying to do this on the side. But yeah. Very, very happy with how it's turning out and we're getting very close. So I think the last things I have to do is like hook up the brakes, bleed everything, tighten everything down, put the chain and the clutch on, um, loom all that wiring, hook up the carbs, all fairly small stuff. I mean, it adds up, but nothing too crazy. So hopefully I'll be riding this soon. I'm gonna post this up now so you can all see the update on this bike, see where it's at. Um, but hopefully in the not too distant future, I'll have a video of this thing riding around. So. Yeah, that's it for now. Hope you're enjoying this build.